Okay, so Adam22 and Sharp were on the Sharp Tank the other day talking about the former hosts and how they left and everything. And Adam gives this speech about how he doesn't understand how he was so disrespectful to the point where T-Rell wouldn't want to be his friend anymore. And how he basically misses his relationship with T-Rell and he's afraid to text him or something like that. And his statements took some heat in the comments and in the Reddit because he didn't mention missing AD or that he was sad about how his and AD's relationship fell apart when AD was the one who brought T-Rell around the show in the first place. AD stuck his neck out for Adam's behavior and provided his safety in the city of LA for so many years. And so he's putting it out there like as if uh, T-Rell leaving is bothering him more than AD leaving. It's really sick. Blowing everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the other guys who left more recently, I'm going to be real. It's like, I don't really feel like I disrespected them in the same way that shit went down with House Phone, you know? I think that realistically, you know, a few weeks out, you can look at it and be like, they had a good thing going. They had their own momentum. They picked an opportune time to dip out. And I can't really like identify the thing that I did to them that was so fucked up that they had to leave or but that by proxy you should have to leave as well that was a lot I was just like ah oh, man like can but th that's just kind of my thing all these all these weeks removed from the other situation is yeah. like I feel like we're supposed to still be friends right yeah I don't feel like those people should be putting dirt on my name or trying to like you know but when I look at it it's like Am I not supposed to be cool with T-Rail? Because I feel like I'm, in my mind, I don't feel like anything happened between he, me and him that should prohibit us from having a friendship. And there's been multiple times where I thought about hitting him up over the past couple of weeks, even just about some shit that don't have anything to do with anything to just be like, hey, check this out. And then I'm like, fuck, like, I feel like I'm not supposed to hit him up. I feel like the narrative is that we're not cool, even though we've had little conversations here and there since then. But I don't know. It's like, I th that's one thing though for me, like, I would like to kind of reestablish certain friendships just for the sake of friendship. Just for the sake of friendship, man. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, how fucking crazy is it that Adam Twenty Two is sitting here saying, "Look, I'm gonna be real. I don't know how I disrespected anybody at, at all, except for House Phone." I mean, this is literally the most narcissistic person I've ever seen in my entire life. Even T. Rell is gonna use the word narcissistic because T. Rell was back on Fig today, if you didn't already know, and he addressed Adam directly and basically said, "Bitch, you need to miss A. D." Don't miss me. And I just thought it was great. And he talks about how little he got paid versus how much influence he brought to the table and stuff like that. And it was pretty good. I'm glad at least one former host besides House Phone can speak out against Adam publicly and say, I do not fuck with you. And T-Rell also says he was never on like a real personal friendship basis with Adam and Adam never wanted to text him just to shoot the shit ever. So that's fake. And he also said that Adam 22 kicked Milk 74 off of T-Rell's podcast and gave him like a fucked up ultimatum where it's like, hey, if you fuck with Milk, you can't be on no jumper anymore and that doesn't sound like a, what a friend would do to another friend okay you understand now let's watch some clips the, the narrative of uh niggas we wasn't making no money you know what i'm saying and we wasn't making anybody <laughs> any money it was basically in the negative fucking with us i don't i don't like that you know i didn't leave that situation because of uh, because of ad duno was the first nigga like hey nigga it's time you know i want to do this i want to do that you know, AD more so had the Tuesday show and he had the Wednesday show and he was doing his thing. So when that shit happened to House Phone, you know, the boy Sharp like, you know, why y'all niggas didn't leave with uh, House Phone? Uh? Yeah, bitch. When he did do that, you feel me? I made a page immediately. I'm like, cuz I can't go. I'm We not going down like that. Y'all can't wake up, you know, with a motherfucker want to go this direction and that direction and this direction. Sticking their chest out like this is what direction we go in and I'll let y'all niggas know by Monday. I'm like, shit, not me. You hear what I mean? Like, I don't know what you want to do. You feel me? And then just when that shit happened with AD, we just all knew it was time. Hey, cut. Don't don't miss me, cuz. <laughs> you need to be missing AD. Man, get to that. Let's get to that. That nigga brought out a burner for you. Niggas like shit. I ain't telling nigga to do that. Yeah, and that's so, not cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like we not we not doing that. Like you supposed to be missing, cuz. So I mean, and you know, it's another narrative out there too. Like you know, the drama. And I just want to let y'all know, <laughs> like at the end of the day, has zero motherfucking drama. I don't. This the biggest narrative is just like. You know, the pay. You can't you can't show me in a group chat, oh, you guys only made seven hundred dollars. I'm not making any money and uh, I might cancel the show tomorrow and uh, oh, uh and it's just God. like nigga, I, you can't you can't do me like that because you know what I'm saying? It just was you know so narcissistic and just arrogant. Like now when you, when you left you will see the hit. Mm -hmm. You will see what we brought. And then just like the money, like what? I'm coming in here happy, cuz, like, I got paid $300. Only nigga got paid more than me was ADN Sharp, but let me get to that. Yeah, Lush did. He get paid more than me. He did.
<laughs> Look, I would miss me exactly. too, bitch. What? I would miss me too. <laughs> and that's what oh, I got grip, from I it. Would. And Facts. that's what I got from it. Facts. You. Oh, who I look? Look, I understand. I will. I will miss me too. But don't say you will miss me, bitch. You need to miss AD. This is a line that we have to keep. I'm so honorable. You feel me? Like I let you come on my motherfucking platform and fire somebody. What? What more do you want from me? You talking about? You want to talk and text me? You ain't never talk and text me on no fucking personal tip, never. But I let that nigga come and. And fire a nigga on my motherfucking platform. And tell me, hey, look, nigga, if you keep fucking with that nigga, you off my platform. Mm. And what I tell you, keep fucking with milk. Milk is cool. Mm. You feel me? Facts. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, absolutely. Adam, you are a straight up bitch. And you need to keep T-Rells and everyone's name out of your fucking mouth. I hope I made myself clear. Anyways, this is a video, and I hope you liked it. Uh, see you on the next one.